Captain Kiri Ticano. But that's, that's because you're from a southern clime, isn't it? I'm a hothouse flower. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. The last time we met was at Garsington for the, the, the gala night that, yeah, that yeah. closed the yeah, Garsington Opera. It will reopen, of I course. Left, I left. Did you, did you make it to the end? Because it was going a little bit slow. <laughs> no. I think it was all those sort of endless comparing speeches in between. I said, come on, it, get on with it. The presenter, you feel, was, was slowing things oh, down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> Let's not talk about you then, Kitty. Not at all. You're what not... did you think of my performance anyway? Um, it, uh, <laughs> measured. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you've actually, that was the Marceline? Marceline, yes, Marceline. We you... did the trio from, from uh, Rose and Cavalier. That's right, and in fact you were appearing in Del Rose and Cavalier, or you're about to appear in Del Rose and Cavalier. I did it in, in Cologne, my, uh, most probably my final Rose and Cavalier of my life. You're not... Slowly grinding to a halt, are you? I'm not. Are you? Well, I'm not like grinding to, to a halt. I'm, 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 hold, I'm, I'm staving off the halt. I'm hoping to anyway. But you're not here as busy as ever. <laughs> well, you know, we have this Curie Prize going on tonight, which I'm really thrilled about. This is our last preliminary, and then we have the five finalists going to happen very, very soon on the 26th of August, which is really exciting. This is the Radio 2 Curie Prize. Tell us a bit more about it. Then, I mean, you're just looking for. An opera star of the future. An opera star of the future. It's sort of, they're not going to suddenly be sort of, they're not going to be opera singers on arrival here. I mean, most of these young people have been studying for about 10 years. But my whole idea was to do it on sound and not, not vision. And the idea is that the public will listen to it from next Friday onwards for five weeks and they will hear the preliminaries and then eventually the finals on the 26th of August. And to sort of to hear them, and did we did we make the right choice? We were actually viewing them at the same time, but uh, to actually to hear them is did we make the right choice? Did, I'm hoping we did. How did they bring themselves to your attention in the first place? Well, the BBC uh, publicised it, and it went to all the schools and everywhere everywhere they could publicise it. They said, let's find the next you know budding opera singer, hopefully. And there were about uh, just close to 900 entrances, which got down to 140. Then I heard 40, and now we're hearing the last 15, and tonight's the last five. The last, sorry, the last three. So you had 15 semi-finalists, uh, and they're, they're going to appear on Friday Night as Music Night? That's right. Each night, the three semi-finalists will appear on Friday Night as Music Night, and then we have to make one judgment, which has been really, really difficult, because I saw the list, and I said, but hang on, there are two in there tonight that are really good. I, I mean, having heard them, I thought... But the thing is, we could only choose one, and that was, to me, the saddest thing, because I could hear. But the thing is, one girl is going to, she's auditioning for a major part fairly soon in an opera company, another one has already got a major part, so it's not as if those 15 have lost. They've actually won because they've got a prize, because they've been exposed to all the different people who've come to hear them. The agencies, the, the uh, opera houses, the young people's programs, all this sort of thing is exactly what I want them to do. Because in my world, the, the world of opera and classical music, it's a really, really hard, it's a hard road, really hard. It's not just sort of overnight. Overnight is sort of overnight and over. Overnight. And opera is still as popular as ever, in fact, more popular. I hope so. so. Yeah, I mean, we had 6,500 in Scarborough, and I sing Scarborough Fair. And they were so lovely. They were just gorgeous. I, I, was, I was assisted, as I, can I just say, but don't tell anybody. Okay. North Yorkshire police assisted me to the rehearsal in all sorts of ways. <laughs> Let's hear it from the North Yorkshire police. <laughs> Now the winner, the winner of this will perform with you. Yes. In front of an audience. In opera, in opera, in proms in the park. Proms in the park. Yes. In I'm September. afraid, I'm afraid I'll be interfering oh, with that. Yes. Can I read your script, please? Slowing yes. things down again. I want more about me. More about me. No, no, it's all about me. No, no, me, 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 me. me. When things happen that go wrong, someone says, Kirino, first comes me, then comes me, and then comes me." I suppose one of the things we remember you most for is singing so brilliantly at uh, the, the wedding of uh, 
Princess Diana and Prince Charles. Yeah. Remember that well. Yeah, that was a great day, wasn't it? Oh. I mean, great day for everybody. It was like, um, well, actually, it was slightly overcast. I remember it because I thought, oh my gosh, please don't rain. And uh, it was just a, a wonderful day. I mean, it was sort of like, it, it was like a bubble. It sort of stayed in the air for, forever. Um, and yeah. it, it's, it continues to do so. Yeah, I was lucky enough. I was um, presenting the... Were you presenting the, the, again? The, the, when I get older, I'm going to be a presenter as well. Well, let me tell you, it's a very, very tough job. Is it? Oh, yes. It's, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try it. Someone's got to do it, and it's all, it's all men dominated at the moment. I think we can have a few women. But thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.